Welcome back Future Medicos. In today's video, we are going to look at some of the details related to MCC All India Counseling. As you all know, the All India Counseling is supposed to start on 11th October 2022 with the commencement of registration. So let's try to understand the details so that when the counseling really starts, you are not being surprised by the details. So first of all, um, you need to understand what are the various category of seats, what are the various colleges that participate in MCC All India Counseling. The first one is 15% All India Quota Seats. That means uh, the government colleges, the state government colleges, they contribute 15% of their seats to All India Quota. So these seats come from various states like Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, right? Gujarat, all the states, they will give 15% of the seats in their government colleges to All India Quota. Second, all the aims, right? All the seats in aims, right? 19 or 20 aims are there. The seats will be filled through MCC All India Counseling. Then JIPMER, JIPMER Pondicherry and JIPMER Karekal. Then Central Universities, Aligarh Muslim University, Banaras Hindu University. Then the various deemed universities like KMC Manipal, KMC Mangalore, Sri Ramachandra, maybe SRM Chennai. Amrita Kochi, Hamda Delhi, right? There are many deemed universities. So the seats in deemed universities will be filled through MCC All India Counseling. ESI quota in ESIC colleges. The colleges that are run by ESI Corporation, they have a reservation under ESI quota or maybe sometimes is also known as IP quota, insured persons quota. For those category, the seats will be filled by MCC Counseling. And then Armed Forces Medical Colleges, which is located in Pune, the first stage shortlisting will be done by MCC. So when you are registering, you need to indicate whether you are interested in AFMC Pune or not. If you are interested and if you have a very good score, then you may be shortlisted for AFMC Pune. It's not selection, it's shortlisting. Roughly around 2000 candidates will be shortlisted and then they will be called for a written test and interview at the Pune campus. And if you get a good score in the written test as well as interview and you have got good score in NEET, then probably you will be selected in AFMC Pune. Now, these are the major category of seats available for MCC All India Counseling. Now, moving forward, what are the steps involved in MCC Counseling? Now, you can see here, the first step is registration and payment. Okay, you need to register and then make the payment. The second step is fill the choices, right? Basically give the priority in which you want the colleges, which is your first priority college, which is your second priority and so on. You need to do the filling of choices. Then choice locking, this is optional. You can do it or you can skip it, but choice locking is the third step. And then the result will be published by MCC after going through the choices. They will process the results um, and then publish it. And if your name is there or if your rank is there in the result publication, if, if you have got a seat, then you can download the allotment letter and then you can report to the college with the allotment letter, with the original documents and the fees. Then you can complete the admission formalities. So these are the major steps involved in MCC counseling. Now let's also look at the schedule, right? Uh, the schedule published by MCC. I have taken uh, the screenshot for the first round. So we will go through the steps I have shown you in the schedule, right? You can see here, the first one shown is verification of seat matrix by institutes. This is nothing to do with the candidates. This the colleges will do. And after verification, the MCC will be publishing the seat matrix. That means what are the seats available? What are the colleges available? What are the number of seats available? By category, they will be publishing. Uh, typically, they will do it uh, before choice filling, before the start of choice filling, they will tell you uh, what are the colleges participating in the counseling and how many seats are offered by each college will be there. And based on that, you can fill the choices. Okay. But before that, right, you need to do the registration or payment. When the registration is starting, it is starting on 11th October 2022 and it closes on 17th October 11 a.m. Okay, this is registration. Then the payment you can start doing from 11th October and the payment will close at 3 p.m. on 17th October. Registration closes at 11 a.m. on 17th. Payment closes at 3 p.m. on 17th October. But don't wait until the last minute. Okay, I, I see even today, right? Um, candidates always try to do things at the last minute. 
I uh, don't do it at the first minute at the same time don't do it at the last minute I, I strongly recommend don't do the registration on 11th October and the same time don't do it on 17th October because there will be problems right if there is some issues on 17th October you don't know what to do and similarly 11th October there will be some issues you don't even know right what you will face so wait don't be in a hurry it's not first come first served maybe wait for one day or two day since the choice filling is starting only on 14th October I strongly recommend you to do the registration on 13th October so give one or two days everybody will be doing the registration they will tell you what is the problem what are the challenges right what mistakes they did from that you can learn lessons so wait for one or two days don't be in a hurry right there will always be some people who want to do it on the first day okay so don't be in a hurry and another thing on 11th October don't start login from 8 a.m. and then say oh it is not opening it is not opening right so don't be in a hurry they say 11th October they didn't tell you what time right it may be at 10 a.m. it may be at 11 a.m. it may be at 2 p.m. it may be at 6 p.m. it may be at 11 p.m. we don't know right so don't keep posting messages on 11th October right the website is not opening the website is not opening right they don't sometimes start at 10 a.m. if they start at 10 a.m. well and good if they don't start wait for it okay because nobody knows the answer when they will start they have said 11th October they will start 11th October until 11 59 p.m. is 11th October okay please understand that so um, do the registration make the payment and once you complete the payment you can start filling the choices from 14th October from 14th October to 18th October you can fill the choices of colleges up to 11 55 p.m. on 18th October and then the choice locking opens at 3 p.m. and then closes at 11.55 p.m. on 18th October. Now what is choice filling? What is choice locking? Choice filling is nothing but your day to day, right? The, the Say for example on 14th October I'll, I'll log in. I select some colleges but I still not comfortable. I still not convinced. I want to review it again. Then I save the colleges whatever I selected say for example I selected 10 colleges I save the choices and then I log out go sleep peacefully next day morning again I wake up I want to again change some of the choices add some colleges right rearrange the choices everything I can do this is called choice filling and you are only saving the choices right at every time before you log out save the choices now what is choice locking basically you are saying that I have done my uh, choice filling I'm comfortable I'm not going to make any more changes so I want to lock the choices but you cannot straight away lock the choices the locking facility will open only at 3 p.m. on 18 October now you may ask sir what happens if I cannot lock the choices or I forgot to lock the choices or I try to log in I am unable to log in the server is busy because there is only nine hours here in that case no need to worry as long as you have saved choices earlier the saved choices will automatically be locked at 11 55 p.m. on 18 October choice locking is not mandatory even if you don't lock the choices it will automatically be locked only thing whatever the choices you fill make sure you save regularly okay if you don't save then there won't be any choices you must save but no need to lock it if you lock it that's well and good also right okay that's choice filling and choice locking verification of internal candidates this is nothing to do with the candidates this the colleges will take care some colleges have internal seats like Jipmer Pondicherry uh, Jipmer Karekal um, Aligarh Muslim University Banaras Hindu University right this some of these colleges may have some internal seats right I don't think Banaras Hindu University have but other colleges or Delhi University Indra Prastha University they all may have some internal candidates so they will look at this for candidates nothing here similarly processing of seat allotment after 18th October the two days 19th October and 20th October MCC will be doing the uh, processing of seat allotment you don't need to do anything here the result will be published on 21st October this is the important date after choice locking this is the important date for you you check whether you got the seat if you got the seat then you need to report to the colleges between 22nd October to 28th October 2022 another question are we required to do two times registration should I do one registration for all India quota that is government colleges and one registration for deemed universities is it really necessary to do two registrations okay the answer is no as far as MCC is concerned you need to do only one registration 
irrespective of the combinations you want you may be wanting a aims jipmer you want deemed universities you want 15 percentage all india quota you want central universities right doesn't matter whatever the combination you want the registration is only once you don't need to do two registration or three registration is only one registration now one of the important thing i want you to take note is look at here right uh, while you are registering string and then filling the details there will be options given to you you need to select uh, which are the type of colleges you are interested uh, this is one of the mistakes done by candidates last year many candidates made this mistake they looked at all india quota they just selected they thought all government colleges are selected okay they didn't read also what is below they just selected here and then they thought they have selected all government colleges because all india quota is government colleges then they went ahead and then they started um looking for the choice filling and during choice filling is what gave them the shock because they didn't have aims jipmer in their choice filling then they were asking everyone hey i'm not getting aims i'm not getting jipmer how do i get aims i how do i get jipmer all these questions came then only they realized they forgot to make a check mark here because they selected only all india quota they didn't select the open seat so aims banaras hindu university aligarh muslim university jipmer they all called open seat so you need to tick that if you don't tick that then you won't get those options which means if you don't tick the system will think that you are not interested in aims you are not interested in jipmer you are not interested in central universities so please read the application properly please read the registration properly please read the information bulletin properly this is the mistake candidates do they don't read the information bulletin they don't read the application they just blindly fill an excitement right all india quota oh i have selected all india quota they just skip to the next step please read below right deemed universities if you are interested you need to put a tick mark for deemed universities if you are interested in nursing you need to put a tick mark for nursing and depending on your choices you may also get esi you may get uh, internal seats say for example you are from pondicherry right you may get some internal seats in jipmer so properly select the choices properly select the options if you don't do that while you fill the college choice filling you may not get some of the colleges of course you can rectify that by doing a reset there is a reset option which you can use once but um, i i don't recommend um, you depending on the reset button because sometimes the reset button doesn't work sometimes mcc does not enable the reset option and i have seen many people were anxious they were going through stressful time because the reset button didn't work and they were left with uh, some colleges which are not available for them for choice filling so filling the choices be clear properly look at that don't just fill all india quota fill the open seats also if you are interested in deemed universities select deemed universities also now the registration charges and security deposit if you want only government colleges you are not interested in deemed universities then you you have to pay this fee structure uh, then again it depends on whether you are unreserved candidate or you belong to some reservation category if you are an unreserved candidate then you need to pay 1000 rupees registration 10000 rupees security deposit totally 11000 rupees you need to pay if you belong to any reservation like obc sc st or physically handicapped then it is exactly 50 percentage 500 rupees registration 5000 rupees security deposit and 5500 rupees total amount this is for only government colleges i am not interested in deemed universities but in case if i am interested in deemed universities then how much i should pay i should pay 5000 rupees registration 2 lakh security deposit total amount 2 lakh 5000 this is for everyone right there is no concession for reservation candidates everyone have to pay 2 lakh 5000 sir what if i want both government colleges and deemed universities then also you pay only 2 lakh 5000 2 lakh 5000 is the maximum right if you want only deemed universities also you will pay this or you can select both government colleges and deemed universities still you pay the same thing right but if you want only government colleges then it will be lesser now further questions if i miss registration in round 1 can i register for round 2 yes you can do that registration will be available for mcc before round 1 before round 2 before mop up round but there won't be any fresh registration before stay vacancy round okay please take note um you can do fresh registration before round 1 and if you don't do that you can do it before round 2 and if you don't do then 
then he can do it before mop up round but he cannot do before stray vacancy round how many choices can i give is there any maximum limit can i give only five choices 10 choices is there any maximum limit no there is no maximum limit the maximum limit is equal to the number of colleges available right say for example i am opting for government colleges and deemed universities then i may have around 350 400 colleges then i can give 350 400 choices it's up to me if i want to give only one choice i can give only one choice if i want to give five choices i can give if i want 100 choices i can give if i want 400 choices i can give right there is no maximum limit all the colleges you can put basically it is a sequence in which you prefer the colleges that's it as simple as that for example you may put all the government colleges first then you can put the deemed universities you can put the dental colleges you can put the nursing institutes you can give as many choices as you want can i give choices for both government colleges and deemed universities yes absolutely you can mix and match for example i may give five government colleges i may give one deemed university then from choice seven onwards i want to again give uh, government colleges up to you or maybe i can give the first choice as deemed university from second choice onwards i want to give government colleges right so there is no restriction you can mix and match government colleges deemed universities everything you can mix and match you can you can put aims in between you can put jipmer in between you can put central universities in between up to you right the exact sequence in which you want the colleges you decide that can i give choices for both mbbs and bds yes absolutely you can give medical colleges you can give dental colleges you can give nursing colleges all of them you can mix right for example the first five choices may be medical colleges then the next three choices may be dental colleges the ninth choice may be a nursing institute it's up to me right you can give it as you like right or you may be giving 300 medical colleges then maybe you give 50 dental colleges and then you give nursing institutes yeah you can do that so no problem is there any separate cutoff for all india quota okay there is no separate cutoff for all india counseling or all india quota there is no separate cutoff there is no separate cutoff for aims there is no separate cutoff for jipmer what i'm saying separate cutoff here is i'm talking about the qualifying score as long as you you have passed neat you have 93 marks you can participate in all india counseling so there is no restriction right it's not that i should have a minimum score to put a particular college in a choice say for example i want to put aims delhi in my choice even if i have 93 marks i can put aims delhi as my choice i may not get it that's a different point but i have the freedom to put it in my choices so there is no restriction in terms of which colleges you can add there is no separate cutoff for each college right only if you have this score you can fill these colleges no any college right aims delhi you can put 93 marks you can put a choice so there is no restriction or there is no separate qualifying score for all india quota or aims or jipmer can we see the fees of deemed universities before the counseling starts yes um MCC will share some information. I will show you where to check. So you can see here, this is the uh, website of MCC. You can see here UG Medical Counseling. You click here and here you can see the participating institutes. You click this. Right now the website is under maintenance. Um, by 11th October, um, probably you will have some information where you can select the colleges and see what is the fee structure. But of course, I don't want you to fully depend on the information provided here. You should check the website of the college respective colleges because there will be more details available on the college website and i also strongly recommend you to look at my playlist i have a playlist on fee structure for deemed universities where i have done detailed videos for each and every deemed university i may not have all the deemed universities but most of the deemed universities have done a detailed fee structure video so you can check that or you can go to the college website and check it now during the duration of processing seat allotment what the applicants are expected to do right i showed you that there are two days the processing of seat allotment happens right for example first round 19th october and 20th october is the processing seat allotment by mcc now as a candidate what should i do during that period you don't need to do anything basically you just have to relax enjoy your time maybe you can go and watch some movies right you can relax or you can follow up state counseling as far as mcc is concerned you don't need to do anything you just have to wait once you do the choice locking then wait for two days until the results are published can i give fresh choices during round two or will it be based on round one choices 
okay you must give fresh choices during round two you'll be giving choices for round one and these choices does not carry forward to round two so you give choices before um, i mean during round one similarly you have to give fresh choices during round two you need to give fresh choices during mop-up round uh, the only round where you cannot give fresh choices is stray vacancy round now during round two can i change my choices yes you can change choices whatever you have given in round one you can continue that you can carry forward that or you can completely change that also it's up to you right there is no nothing like you must follow whatever the choice is given in round one you can change it during round two you can give exactly the same also it's up to you right there is no limitation as far as the choice filling is concerned okay we come to the end of the video just a disclaimer some of the information i've shared in this video is based on 2021 information bulletin so i strongly recommend you to take this information in this video as advanced planning information and then once 2022 information bulletin is released i kindly request you to go through each and every page of the information bulletin and ensure you have the latest information thank you bye bye